Oh, so this is the first stage in the game that has a, a very secret star. If I remember, Bowie Pace has was like one of the best themes in the game. I love this track. It's so good. Yes. Also, gear mode. You, your, your mini game sucked in the uh, battle rock. <laughs> Pipe and also penguins. They're just here though, I think. Yeah, just chilling. So I think like underwater bullet bills are like what was it? Torpedo Torpedo Ted. Yeah. And bloopers yeah. are here too. Yes. Because they're no, it's not their first 3D appearance, but it's probably their first, well, first time in the, with their normal design. What, what came first? What came first, this or Mario Wii? Uh, Galaxy. Yeah, Mario Wii was 2009. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I meant first 3D appearance, first appearance on a 3D platformer, not first game yeah. where they had like a 3D in 3D, not first appearance with 3D graphics, because they've been in stuff beforehand, like um. They were in so they're from World, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they like, been I, in... I think they appear in like Soda Lake. Uh, oh. Maybe I, I meant. I'm not, I'm not talking about a torpedo test. I'm talking about the the bloopers. Oh right. right. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. 3D bloopers. 3D. Bloopers. I don't know. What, yeah, I don't remember what game they've been in. Also, like this, they, this camera's not they helping were, me. Mario <laughs> Party like... Eight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, they came out before Galaxy. I guess, um, but I, I, what about? Hell, like... I think even Brawl mentions that. <laughs> huh? Have they? Were they in sixty four sun or Sunshine? I think they were like very no. into oh, the, oh, 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 there, there were there, there were weird versions of them in Sunshine, but not these guys. Right, the, the ones that you ink. The ones that there's like the ones that can actually be on land, I guess. <laughs> Weren't there like what were those squids that you could race with? Uh, oh, yeah, those were bloopers. Those, those are bloopers. They, yeah, they, they say bloopers there, but they're... yeah, they are bloopers. Yeah. I see these things. I just think of that Mario Party 10 mini game. Uh, I, I thought those. There's that one down there. Good. Or that Super Mario Party thing of. I don't remember. I thought those... From a distance, I thought those pink critters were Babam buddies. <laughs> oh god. The wall put. I was talking about that wall pusher thing, for the record. Yeah, these guys are basically Octo Goombas, but they actually pose a threat because they shoot rocks at you. I think in Galaxy 2, the the regular Octo Goombas shoot rocks, so those guys basically just become obsolete. <laughs> by the way, don't get hit by any of these water gushes, or else you're going right back to the bottom. Yep. Yeah, I like stages like this where you just have to climb up a structure. Oh. And get this guy. You don't even need to really use this, but it's... Sure. And this is another... Kind of, this, this tower structure is something they use in Galaxy 2 as well. How many things yeah. from Galaxy 1 are reused in Galaxy 2? Excluding something like uh, the Boss Rush Galaxy. <laughs> a Most of it. What? Uh, there's a decent amount of stuff that's reused, but there's... Assets not including, obviously. Um, let's see. Okay, so they use this tower again. They use a planet from Good Egg Galaxy. They use all the bosses. Well, most of them. I know... I know uh, Camilla doesn't come back. Um... I'm trying to think now. Uh... They... The, the pla that one planet from Beach Bowl. Um... Yeah, it has its own dedicated galaxy, even. Yeah, right. I'm trying to think- I don't know the- what else is there? That's in that spacks are apparently transparent. <laughs> yeah. Or- or whatever, they, they can go- they can go through walls. <laughs> Intan- they can be intangible. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, 
we'll probably think of others at some point, but... Yeah, those are the main ones I can think of. Oh, but I remember how this oh. works. This is gonna look really cool. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. This is a nice little Easter egg for the... for Pokemon fans. So th this, there's no way this is not intentional. <laughs> I'd hope, you know, there's a part of me, it's like... We kept it... What am I trying to say? I love this, but... It is totally a Pokeball. There's no way, like, they didn't think it... Like, they were... They had to... It looks what. like a Pokeball, but due to copyright reasons with the Pokemon Company, it isn't. <laughs> it's upside down, for one thing. <laughs> yeah. It's an Electrode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's normal or Hisuian? Normal or Hisuian? Like, it's just, could you imagine, like, you just open that and it's just freaking Gyarados? Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so, hi, Mario. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind a Mario platform where you have to, like, just jump over, like, go through the Pokemon regions. I, like, like, it would never happen just because the Pokemon would probably be enemies. I don't think they'd want Mario brutalizing them. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Green, green Star, what? Yep. So, we've literally never mentioned it, but if you notice, like, sometimes, like, when I go to the Terrace area, there's a green launch star that's just see-through. And, um... We're gonna find out why in a second, because there's there's exactly three very special uh, green stars that you can find, and they will eventually unlock like three of some of the hardest levels in the game. And yeah, three more yeah. galaxies, I think it is. Yeah, but uh, but they're single levels. Is it that warp pipe down there? Yep, you have to get the torpedo uh, Ted to uh, break that. I wanted to mention this earlier as well, but I like how this has like an actual underwater version of the theme and it's not just the actual theme just quieter. I like that. Oh wow, pipe's actually functioning like they're supposed to in real life. Yeah, right. <laughs> Should have some bars splashing out to hit Mario. Yeah, I remember this actually being fairly tricky, not in terms of like the danger of dying necessarily, but more so, well, these guys are pretty... Um, actually hitting it. Yeah, actually, like, getting these guys to hit the- hit this- here is, uh... Okay, well, I did it first try, but usually that doesn't- I was gonna- I was gonna say, this is actually really tricky. <laughs> yeah, usually that takes me a while to actually get, but, um, sometimes I do get lucky like that. But before I do that, I- I do want to highlight this- this theme, though. I don't want to get the star right away, so... I'm gonna stay quiet- quiet for a minute here and just let you guys enjoy the music. enough. I'm sorry. Hey, I just, for the Nintendo mop music bot to find us. I just love this theme so much. I had to highlight it. <laughs> the way that the orchestra builds up gives me a very Kate Chris Uprising vibe. Yeah. Oh, is the Oh, we got another Luigi. Oh, no, it's, no, it's green just, stars. It's talking, yeah, yeah, green stars. Yeah, I know you find one here. You, uh, Luigi finds one, and I think the third one is the, in the bedroom. How much time do we have left? Uh, I don't know. Scrappy, how much time do you got left? Excuse me. Here, Rats, you have a green power star? These stars have a special power. Ask the green was about them. After all, they will transform into green star uh, power stars someday. Yes. So you literally turn your children into the power source of your ship. That is horrifying. <laughs> that. That's their destiny. It's not. It's not. We don't. It's not us doing that. Yeah. Yeah. We are like an an hour, an hour ten at the moment. So. Do you think we should do the hungry luma? Um, I guess so. 
Try out galaxies, right? Oh, two of us like me, yeah. So, this doesn't actually like... Okay. It's, intang it's intangible until we can um uh, get the rest of them. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure if like it spun around or not, but yeah. You know. Should we do? So if we're, well, yeah. If we're gonna end it, then we maybe we should do the hungry luma. Then then we'll stop. Uh, I have a. I mean. Well, I, well, because the theory of that, we're doing the storybook now. Yeah, I mean the storybook has like two or three chapters, so that might take a bit. <laughs> Um, well, you well in, in that case, I get to mute myself because that's your because that's your forte. <laughs> yeah. Well, how, okay. Well, how much time do you have left, Scrappy? <laughs> uh, I'll probably have to cut this out. Yeah, I don't have any meetings. I just, just have to get an out. Get some. Uh, Oh gosh, I don't even know how to speak. I'm good for a, for a little longer. Okay, yeah, we can do Hungry Luma then. We'll do Hungry Luma, and then we'll do the, and then we'll just do the the, the book. Yeah, I do want to stop soon as well because I do want to start winding down. Too bad too, because only got one more. All we have is the boss left in there too. Yeah, it's fine. Well, we had the boss and still the Daredevil comet. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, depending on if it's still there. Because <laughs> it I can... Bet, well, we'll, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, because the, the, the comments will... The like, will tell us once you land anyway, once you come back. <laughs> yes, because um, if, do, do, if you do too many uh, levels before like doing a comet, it will just vanish and it will come back eventually, but yeah. yeah I just know what this is. John Ill oh. oh! Yeah, this one. We gotta save right. The, we gotta save the pingus from Munagi. Ugly ass eels. Yes. Oh, the penguin sage. Hmm. I thought his name was Penguru or something. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I wasn't aware he even had a name. <laughs> I just called the penguin sage. Yeah. I don't know. The penguins are sad. Gringill. That's what they're called, I guess. Okay. If you ask me the name, like, any Mario enemy introduced past, like, 64, I wouldn't be able to do it. <laughs> yeah. I, can I can barely remember what the name of the big fish is in 64. <laughs> the big fish, like... Boss Pass? I don't know. <laughs> all I know is that the one in the uh, tiny huge island. Yeah, all I know is that I hate that thing and it terrifies me. Uh, yeah, and oh yeah, red shells. Also, uh, yeah, I swear to God, the well, uh, let me talk to the penguin first. No, the penguins need the fish. They need food. Yeah, I swear to well, God. Was said penguru earlier? I thought he said penguru, and I'm like, that's a Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I swear to God, like Nintendo. Were, like massive trolls with um, the fish in Tiny Huge Island because the thing has sunglasses. So I, I could just imagine the Nintendo just being like, "Yeah, we know we know this thing's like creepy as hell. Let's just give it sunglasses as like a like a troll." <laughs> I just uh, realized that 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 that, 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 that was that was the Topricade ship. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, what the heck? Man, yeah. These guys suck. Oh hi. Oh hi. Good. I'm free, let I'm me sorry. hurt you. <laughs> you saved me, how dare you. I guess it's, it, it, in a way, this is... Oh, 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 it's like, is that a porcupine or something? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, I, I guess in a way, this is like, pr um, uh, training you for a underwater boss layer. Which, I, which is nice, I guess. I wouldn't door number two down there. Oh yeah, I forgot those shells have down? like traffic lights. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. They're not traffic lights, car lights. <laughs> yeah. Oh nice. No, th well, th it's not gonna matter because I'm gonna lose these lights in a minute. <laughs> There's no edge there. Should have had like Luigi stuck in one of the chests. I think he gives you a star. How would he be breathing? Air. Fuck it, of air. <laughs> yeah, I like how the, like the Mario characters can br breathe in space but not underwater. Fine, I can do it. 
Mario can't breathe on in space in this game without the Luma. Well, I don't know if that's actually confirmed. I think that's more of a fan theory. I also like, by the way, that oh when God. you pick up a shell, it, it, the shell, the shell is technically a power up. That's why it does that jing a little bit. <laughs> yeah. You know, I would have been would have been nice if they brought the blue shell into a 3D game. Yeah, I don't know what you how you'd repurpose that for a platformer though. Just make it like I don't know. Just, to... Um, technically, the boomerang flower has a blue shell. <laughs> yeah. You're not wrong. You're not wrong, yeah. All right, there is it. Is it back? No, it's not. Only way I can see is it's like they just. Oh, is it? Oh, is, is, it, it, oh, is, Luigi, is it Luigi? Is it more Luigi? Hey. Hey. Oh, that's Battle, that's battle Rock. Sure. Eh, well uh, we got time. Eh, this is quick. Yeah, well, okay, yeah, that'll oh. be a good way to. Or is that around the end of the stage, though? Yeah, you had to do the whole stage. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I guess we'll do this and, um, and uh, the storybook. I do have a lot to say about the. Bowser Jr. stage, so I I would rather do that when I'm actually like not about to drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Luigi has the green star, doesn't he? Yeah, this is the this is the second green star that I was talking about. I guess this is a good excuse for me to actually talk about that whole health thing. It's nothing too crazy, I guess, but. Yeah, um, you did get the flying. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. I mean, yeah. Sometimes it is beneficial when like you don't have any like star bits to grab on the flying. Well, you you, 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 or you don't need knowledge of that. <laughs> yeah. Or you just want to speed things up, I guess. I yeah. gone. I got health. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So th this. Before I mention that, th this is basically just the same stage and then you go to the end and have to uh, instead of like hitting the the regular glass uh, or like container or whatever Luigi's on the bottom part of it which I remember actually being kind of kind of annoying to uh, break because the bullet bill doesn't always <laughs> cooperate with you but other than that this is the same level so yeah the thing I was I wanted to mention about the, the life system is the fact that um, I do think it is smart that they did make it like a free life system, but the thing is, the the thing with 64 and Sunshine is that, in a way, it may as well it may as well have had a free life system as well because nearly all the enemies and hazards in those games did like two Took, like two slices. Yeah, they usually did at least two, and some of them even did like four slices, and. And ball damage, and, ball, and the highest ball damage you can take is half, isn't it? Yeah, so at, at that point, it, it just, I feel like it just makes sense to make it so everything just does one hit of damage and just unify that as just a free health system because, yeah, with, um, again, with 64 and Sunshine, it says you have eight health, but do you really? <laughs> like, you, like, some enemies do, like, one hit of damage, but most of the time it's going to take at least two, so at that point, it's... You don't really have a hell, so I, I don't know, I just like that they made it more what? unified in Galaxy and everything post this. I think Sunshine at least kind of does it right. Um, like, because like, well, well, like contact on like certain enemies just do one. Yeah, enemies usually do one, but a lot of things do like do a lot more than that, so it's... Yeah, I, I just like that they made it so everything everything in this game onwards just just does one hit point of damage and just makes it more universal, I guess. <laughs> hmm. It's yeah, that, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about it. It's nothing like crazy, but it's something I just wanted to bring up. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's kind of what I was talking about with the bullet bills not always cooperating because sometimes they just kind of wander off and to their own devices. <laughs> I thought they, just had, I thought they had pretty reliable tracking and they just ram into shit. Yeah, I mean they are reliable enough but if I feel like if you aren't always... Why not, why not, why not start under it? Uh, what, like under this? Yeah. I can try. 
Um, I do also... One other thing about the life system as well is that if they did go with the 8-8 eight, eight, um, health system but still had the galaxy method of how you take damage, i.e. you always take one hit point, it would have been way too easy because, yeah, <laughs> like that would have been ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just trying to get this guy over here, that's an issue. Like, how did he get here? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Try to save me sooner. Oh, you're gonna do the voice? Well, fuck you too! <laughs> you gonna do the voice again? Well, I'm, I'm gonna go crazy in there. Try to save me sooner next time, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you want the star star, right? Only if you tell Rosalina I found this one. Who the fuck is kicked out? Weird, though. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is that you from getting kicked out, but okay. <laughs> like how there were two Luigi's talking at once. No, that was me, Mario. Don't save us for Luigi uh, Galaxy when you do this on a stream. <laughs> oh god. The power star is mine, jeez, Luigi. Actually, are you doing a Luigi Galaxy on stream? Uh, that won't be for a long time, but eventually. Oh. Yeah. Alright, let's go get that storybook. Yeah. What is the last Luigi? Is he, in, is he in a level we've already done? Yeah, I think he's in Honey Hive. Yeah, I like how- I don't you... remember, it's been too long. Yeah, I like how you get the uh, three Luigi stars, like, right next- like, really close to each other. And, and then he just buggers off. Yeah, and he's just like, oh, I'm tired now, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> yeah, they- Well, he's just looking for backups for stars you might have missed, quote-unquote. Yeah, I, it's like, <laughs> Mario, how did you do this twice already? <laughs> oh god, the Daredevil comments back! <laughs> That's what I think about your Daredevil. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> EAD had to- Alright, well, I get to mute myself while you guys enjoy reading the story. Well, unless you want to do a voice. No. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I guess next time we can, like, provided the comment's still there, we can- That can be what we do next time, because that'll be fun. Oh, gosh. Muting time. Hooray. Chapter 3, the comment. A beam of- A beam- Oh, do you want to- Go on. Oh, okay, fair enough. A beam of light pierced through the ship's window, thinking it was the mo- I'm good at w I'm good at reading. Thinking it was the morning sun, the girl peered through the window, only to find a turquoise blue comet shimmering at her. The little girl shook the sleeping Luma awake and shouted excitedly. We have to get to that comet. That reminds me of something. Oh- <laughs> Oh god, that just reminds me of Shadow the Frickin' Hedgehog, is it? <laughs> the Black Comet, of all things, good lord, why am I thinking about that? <laughs> the pair descended on the comet and found out it was made of ice. They looked high and low, but Luma's mother was nowhere to be found. Exhausted, the little girl sat down with a flop, utterly unable to take another step. No. A yeah, good idea walking on a, with no with no shoes. Yeah, right. Like, <laughs> not even like sandals or anything. <sighs> Peering down at the icy ground where Luma was pointing, the girl suddenly noticed clusters of star bits encased in the ice. Pretty. Oh, right, that's you. Pretty good, huh? Wait, that's the Luma. Okay, well, uh, pretty good, huh? Finding star bits is my specialty. Said Luma, beaming. If I found, like, frozen candy and ice, I'd be kind of worried. Yeah, I think this is just basically, um, like, the the game just being like, Hey, you, you've been breaking a bunch of ice with star bits in, so let's just put this in the storybook, because why not? It's just hard candy. Yeah. There's ice here, but it's so warm, I bet- uh, Yeah, for Pete's sake. There's ice here, but it's so warm, I bet- I'll bet there's water here, too, for Pete's sake. Reading al reading aloud is hard, folks. <laughs> Scrappy would. I mean, how many sessions of story time have you done? Like fifty plus. I think it's. I think we're at like exactly sixty now. Uh, and, and unless you don't want to count like the anniversary episodes, then it's more like fifty-seven. I think. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the two decided to stay on the comet for a while. Riding the turquoise comet, the pair continued their search for Luma's mother. 
Chapter 4, The Dream. Do you want to narrate this one, or should I keep going? I can narrate. Okay. One night, the girl dreamed about her own mother. Where are you going? She asked her mother's retreating back. Without turning, her mother replied. Don't fret, dearest. I'm not going anywhere. I'm always watching over you like the sun in the day and the moon and the moon in the night. <laughs> oh, so I like the um, little like bunny. The moon. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, again I can I can words. Um the, yeah, I like uh, like little Rosalina's little like star bunny plushy thing. <laughs> A wave of sadness washed over the girl. What about when it rains and I can't see the sun or the moon? Her mother thought for a moment before responding. I will turn into a star in the clouds and wait for your tears to dry. Ah. When she awoke, the girl's face was damp with tears. You have star bits in your eyes, said Luma to the girl. Wiping her face, the girl replied, These are tears, not star bits. I'm crying because I'll never see my mother ever again. At this, Luma began to cry too. I, I'm not <laughs> actually gonna- Mama, oh mama, where? Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> and that's all I'm doing. <laughs> the pair traveled to the starry skies, and though they encountered many other comets, not one of them held Luma's mother. Luma was despondent. Now, 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 Luma. The rain clouds won't go away if you keep crying. The girl said, giving Luma a squeeze. I'll give you a present if you stop. The girl closed her eyes and said gently, I'll take care of you. With these words, she felt a small spark in her heart. Oh, there's a third one. <laughs> okay. I Chapter think you just unlocked this one. <laughs> Lord. Chapter 5, Home The kitchen will go here, and the library will, will go over there. The girl said busily to herself. We'll put the gate here. Ever since the girl took Luma under her care, she'd been bustling about at a feverish pace. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it to make a happy home. It turns out that... Ugh. It turned out that star bits weren't the only things buried in the ice. There were tools and furniture unlike any they had ever seen, and the girl used them to build a home. Dude, this is like way bigger than anything we see in the actual observatory. <laughs> Looking at the completed house, Luma remarked, Don't you think it's awfully big for just the two of us? With a library, bedroom, kitchen, fountain, and gate, it was certainly spacious. But still, something seems to be missing. If only my father, brother, and mother were here. The girl said wistfully. Indeed, the house was too large for two small residents. Ah. That night, clutching her favorite stuffed bunny close to her heart, the girl fell asleep in the starship. Okay. <laughs> cool. So yeah, we're done with that. So oh, apparently boy. Rosalina and she, yep. she really didn't leave her family apparently for years, but not the not the pictures really showed her aging much. Yeah. Uh, yeah, why didn't she just take her family with her? Uh I don't I don't know. I assume that did she just lose her mother? Like did... Based off my memories of the whole storybook, it seems like Luma landed on her home planet, whatever Rosalina's planet is. We don't mm -hmm. know if it's Mushroom World or not. I assume uh, I assume it is, unless there's just another nondescript planet we don't know of. I mean, their starship looks like the Toad Brigade starship, doesn't it? I think. So, yeah. yeah, unless there were toads living on that other planet that may exist, I don't know. Don't think about this too hard. Uh, what the heck was that so animation? She... 
So she left her family behind for what the book says was years. Yeah. And yeah, and then you know she faced the consequences for that. I guess so. I I did want to mention uh, like talk a bit more about Rosalina as a character. I I guess I may as well mention this here before we start, but uh, the. I did kind of jokingly allude to this in the in the start, like saying like best princess, but she is, she is my favorite of the three main princess characters. I know she technically isn't a princess, but just roll with roll with it for this. But yeah, the reason I say that is is because I like that they like Koizumi did make this whole storybook thing. I think it's very charming and it. It's surprisingly filzy for a Mario game. You don't usually have something like this. I think it's really well done for what it is. And I like that her more calm nature is like a massive contrast to what you usually expect from a Mario character. And I, while I, I'm not necessarily saying that I don't, I don't like the zaniness. Like I love characters like Waluigi, Wario, Luigi and all that because like, because they are, like, super out there and fun, but I I just like how Rosalina's just that one character that's more calm and collected, and she has, like, a f uh, she does have a more fun side in games like Mario Kart and Smash Bros, to name a few, but, yeah, I, I, I don't know, I just, I just like that there's the contrast there, and I will say, I, I wouldn't want this to be a character to what a um, personality trait in like more Mario characters, I I think it it should just be Rosalina because if they if they did this kind of thing with a bunch of Mario characters, I feel like it would lose its luster and kind of ruin the whole point of this. So I do kind of like that she's that one that's a lot more composed, I guess, to, compared to what you you usually have with these games, but. Oh, sounds not the right word. Yeah. That's pretty much what, that, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to say. I did want to say more about Rosalina at some point, and I feel like this was just a good time to do it, so. Um, unless you, do you guys have anything else to add about that? Rosalina's space queen. <laughs> yes. She's tall. She is, I think she's like one of the tallest characters in the series. Yeah, Next. you feel all Luigi was tall. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I think like yeah, while Luigi and Rosalina are like some of the most, some of the tallest characters. Kind of, kind of, kind of says something when in Mario Kart Wii they're the heavyweights. All right. Well, so oh, this actually, they're not called heavy characters in Mario Kart Wii. They're called large characters. <laughs> well, that, well, that, that, that's just yeah. saying she's thick. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. So I'm having like <laughs> that. That again, that again, that also be saying all Luigi thick. God. Also, I just this is really weird. Like, if you jump on like sometimes you jump on like the edge of these platforms, Mario just kind of like what like what's it? He like snaps to yeah like that. He just That's snaps to the to the edge. Strange. Like, the thin quote unquote ledges tend to have that effect in games. Yeah. Like some objects are just not meant to be messed around with. <laughs> Yeah, uh, do you have anything to add about the Rosalina stuff, Scrappy, before I end? Uh... Interesting backstory, a bit odd at points. Like, wouldn't want every Mario game to have it, but I, oh, I'm yeah. happy it exists in this game. Fandom's yeah. freaking annoying sometimes, but the character herself is fine. She still screwed Daisy out of a spot in 3D World, it was a screwer. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I wouldn't want the storybook thing to be in, like, every game. I think... I like this for being a thing for Galaxy specifically. It, it, this is this is not the type of series where it needs every game to have the this... Well, at least for the, like, the main series stuff. Like, the for the RPGs, you can do whatever. But, yeah, for the 3D games, I, I don't think it's ne necessary for every game to have a deep backstory kind of thing like this, but I do like that they tried it tried it this one time. And, uh... And then Miyamoto said no. Well, it's more complicated than that, but 
Uh, I guess we I mean, can. Well, I can tell they didn't really bring. They didn't really pass the story by him to begin with, and he's an executive producer on it, so it's kind of like I maybe overreacted, but I don't I like. Don't... I, I at least understand where he was coming from. I think a lot of that stuff is a uh, miss. Um, Probably overblown by it, fans and translators, most a, likely. A, a lot of the stuff about Miyamoto hating storytelling is like not. It's like false. It's kind of uh, falsely um, attributed to him instead of like. I guess. I, I feel like we're we talking over each other. <laughs> we're talking. I feel like we should save a lot of this stuff for next session because this is quite a lot, quite a big subject to go over. But um, Miyamoto is the, the reason Paper Mario doesn't do X Y Z thing anymore. Yeah, and that's says YouTuber X Y Z. I guess. Yeah, so. and that, that's like been proven to not be true uh like all, all Miyamoto really did was suggest a few things like he had no control over what the team actually ended up doing um but yeah I, I don't know I don't want to go on a whole like run about all this because well, well, we, we don't need to this is something that we normally say for our app for our late night calls oh gosh yeah I mean the the we, we may as well save this for next time because there's a lot of stuff to go over with this Miyamo thing. So, yeah, we'll just leave. I think we'll just leave it at that for now. Uh, next time, we'll probably do the freaking Daredevil and finish up the. Uh, was it the Kitchen Dome? And, the Kitchen Dome. And yeah. then we should be able to get started on, on. Then we should be able to get started on the bedroom. Well, Mario, you have you, you all right? Yeah, we'll just end it with I'm that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mario's just excited to like have some sleep. <laughs> Alright. No, that's cool. Yes. Hey, Ma Mario Mario don't need sleep. He take naps. Yeah, I mean he's just he just kinda sleeps on like anything. Anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, we'll just leave you guys with that. <laughs> See you guys next time. Uh, hey, adios, Wait. <laughs> <laughs>